What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you had a great holiday season. Uh, I know we sure did and we got a lot done. Although most of what we got done was smaller items and probably harder to see. But uh, we'll try to cover a lot of that in this video. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to let us know how we're doing in the comments. Give us a like if you're enjoying uh, the series. And of course you got to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this. Um, anyway, stay tuned. Today I'm going to work on installing these water tanks. I have three of them and they're 20 gallons a piece. Okay. So yeah, I got this two pieces of angle like this. I'm going to mount one water tank between this beam and the next one down there, so between the axles. I wanted to put them all above the axles. Problem is, there's not enough clearance here for the end of the tank. See how the tank drops down? I couldn't get it through there. So what I'm going to do, put one between the other two. Put it this way. We'll go here and here. So all pretty close to the axles. Hopefully that'll help with the weight, uh, even out the weight from the front, because you know everything we've built so far has been up front in front of the axles. So hopefully that'll help even things out, or you know at least distribute a little more weight to the back. This is the type place to be. So I'm hanging all this threaded rod, and I'm going to drop the. Uh, Hmm. Hope it'll fit over. I'm gonna drop the uh, angle down, and hopefully everything will fit above it. I can bolt it all up. I don't really know how I'm gonna get out of that part yet. We'll see. Okay, let's see if we can get this first tank mounted. Gonna drop these down. Got these pieces of foam off of something I had laying around. I'm going to try to put those between the angle and the tank. Okay, I want to show you my water setup. So we have the uh, water inlet there. That's what the water hose is connected to on the outside. It comes in, it goes to the rest of my plumbing. It's all that way. Uh, I've got this crazy setup here. And this goes to my fresh water tanks. So it comes over this way. This uh, fresh water fill ties in here. And of course the pumps here in this line and then it goes through the floor down to my tanks so when I have water in the tanks I'm gonna want to leave this valve off and open this valve and that will let the pump pump the water from the tanks into the camper so you can see the uh, the bottom line there is the fill line the top line is the uh, vent top line is the vent line the vents run together to all the tanks so in the back side we have uh, the three tanks there this is the fill line and the drain line and uh, I have a little water in there if I can spray me open her up a little bit that's how I'll drain the tanks 
I gotta secure this a little more. It's just hanging there. Uh, and then my vent, I'm gonna eventually extend that out and put a drain on it also. So that's, uh, that's the setup. We'll see how it works. So the kids and I got the first coat of paint on their room. We're very excited. It's looking good. And Adam has been working on a bathroom countertop and cabinet. Building it from scratch. How's it going there, Boom. buddy? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> it's going good. Just good. It's real good. It Just looks very fancy. Making it up as I go along. It's definitely a custom build. It is absolutely <laughs> a custom build. I bet it'll be a lot different when I get done. Like the bottom one, probably. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just guessing right now. Well, at least we got something in the works. Yeah, yeah that's what I was doing. I was just putting legs on it, trying to screw it to the floor. I don't even know if it's level, to be honest. I didn't check it yet. Um, I'm just trying to get an idea of where it's going to sit and what it's going to look like. And i got to take this back out, mount the sink. Actually, we'll take it out, drill the holes for the sink, drill the holes for the faucet, and stain that, or polyurethane that. Yeah, we got medicine cabinet. Yeah, that's going to look awesome. It's going to look awesome. It fits very nicely. That fits perfectly. Yeah. Does it open? Maybe. Very cool. So uh, overall, this side, we're going to have to add some trim, get our uh, beveled pieces at the top up and painted. Same for the other side. We're actually going to add another window here. And uh, I've got that in. I just need to put it in. So as far as the kitchen goes, we got a toaster oven for Christmas. It's very nice. Got all our cabinets in, which they've been in. Ashley's got uh, all of her stuff in the cabinets, ready to go camping, looking good. Everything at the top, which those aren't loaded up. They'll normally have food and a few other things like that in it. New spice rack. This is just uh, random things under the sink. <laughs> Mounted these baskets to hold, I don't know what, but something. Something that Ashley would want to hold up there. Steps are a work in progress. Those boards are just to uh, just place holders at the moment. Here's our finished sink. Let her close it up. This is the beveled edge that uh, will go in the rest of the trailer. I had to put a primer on it and we'll go ahead and paint that the same color as the, well, we're gonna paint the ceiling also, so it'll be white. So we put this trim in behind the toilet and that's to hide our water lines. That runs up and goes back to the shower. And we'll paint that white so it'll blend in a little better. We've added in a few pieces of trim here and there. I'm gonna have to paint those up kids uh, decorated and it looks really good up here they did this uh, this wall is <laughs> looking kind of rough so we tried a chalkboard paint on it and when we tried to wipe the uh, chalk off it had left a lot of residue so we're uh, have to be working on that a little more anyway still got a uh, trim just random little things left and I believe we're going to do something with this bed configuration and probably end up having to move this or modify this storage and the reason for that when we've gone camping the last time last couple times uh, 
with it cold outside and us running the heat, we're getting a ton of moisture under this mattress. So we have a few uh, ways to fix that. We can build a frame for this to sit on and get it off the floor and that'll help cut down on that moisture we think. Or one other, one other issue we're having is uh, Alex doesn't really like sleeping up front with us, which I can't blame the guy. So we're uh, trying to figure out how to add a couple beds in this area, actually three beds in this area, so all the kids can stay up front. <clears throat> so we're going to have to get creative with that. Probably have to move our storage, but uh, I think there's a way to do it. We're just going to have to, we'll see. We'll see what happens. The last thing we added was this handrail. Uh, to help us get in and out and that's been really nice to have it folds up this way when you're traveling and folds right back out nice and sturdy so uh yep that's it that's gonna do it for this episode i appreciate you guys watching uh the next episode is gonna be a camping video we went out to uh carolina pines in conway south carolina and that place was uh pretty awesome so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time.